video goes to Sporrins. Could be more excited to have Aaron Baines as a bullet for the next couple of seasons. Oh, you won it! You won it! Welcome to the NBL, big fella. The Wildcats have raised the demons of last season. One what play. I don't want to play. Hey, wait. Yelling at me. Oh. Right upstairs for Pardon. By far the best season the NBL's ever had. Misses. His face is bleeding. He's wild. He, he wants to be thrown. He's been thrown. He'll go up and punch it. Stepping back for Travis. Look out. Oh, they've done it again. The Sydney Kings sit on their throne and rule over the NBL. If you thought last season was good, let me introduce you to the NBL 24, where every moment matters. There we go. Like good, Alex. Good. Oh, yeah. What really sets this season apart are the next stars. No doubt, the most talented young guns to ever grace this league. These athletes are all genuine NBA prospects who have chosen the NBL to fast track their careers. But don't get me wrong, the NBL ain't just a stepping stone. They are here to make an impact. They are here to win, and the message is clear. We got next. Welcome to Australia. Trenton Flowers is special, and he's just what the 36ers need. Bro, these are not on my suitcase. A six foot eight point guard, Flowers has the chance to follow the Josh Giddy game plan and get to the NBA. He's got the skills, but it's his confidence and charisma that will make this kid an instant favorite in Adelaide. What up, man? What's up, baby? You got me mic'd up yeah. right now. What me saying? What's up to everybody? Are you mic'd up yeah. right now? Yeah. I'm not gonna get Rico. <laughs> what up, man? Let's ask the people, do I look pretty good in my Sixers uniform? <laughs> my game. I'm a highlight reel. Kind of flashy. You know you see me on the court, I'm kind of pretty, but you know I like to play tough. Hey, bro, 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 bro. As far as my skill set, you know, I'm 6'8", 6'9", super versatile. You know, I can pass, dribble, shoot at a high level in my opinion, and, uh, you know, I'm extremely athletic, too, so. I mean, my goal always growing up was to be one of the best basketball players that, you know, ever touch a ball. But, you know, off the court, you know, I want to be known for just being a great person. You know, I know I have a lot of people looking up to me, and, you know, I just want to be able to set the way and pave the way, and, you know, my goal is to make it to the playoffs. You know, not goal, we are going to make it to the playoffs. You see how Tris is doing all this here? Yeah. You're gonna learn how to do all this. Oh, learn how to do it? Oh, yeah. I know you have bigger goals and dreams, but, you know, part of being a pro, learning how to tape yourself. Yes, sir. Welcome to Australia. That's the topping you up hey, a little bit That's a little here. different, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once I got Trent's name and realizing that, you know, he was at Louisville and he's the face of the school, I was kind of, I wasn't shocked because uh, clearly being a next star, uh, you're highly talented. Uh, but knowing that it, between us and Louisville, someone's going to lose out here. The fallout. Um, you know, it was just some, you know, unhappy people that, you know, felt I should have stayed and played for the college, and I made a leap to go pro, and, you know, now, you know, I'm just making the best decision for me and my family. When you have guys such as Josh Giddy, Lamelo Ball, who's my dang, you know, you just look at them, really versatile, flourish in the pro-style game as, you know, a team. You know, I feel like it was the opportunity of a lifetime for me. My family, and I'm gonna miss them a lot. You know, they were just over there talking, you know, I was starting to get teary-eyed a little bit, so, you know, um, when they leave, it's gonna be tough for me, but, you know, I'm down here to handle my business, and, you know, hopefully soon, you know, we'll all be back reunited, and, you know, I'll, I'll be at where I need to be at, so. It was bad enough when he was 20 minutes up the street, <laughs> but to be miles and miles and miles away is going to be so difficult. But at the end of the day, I know I have to let him go so he can accomplish what he wants to. We got a loaded team. I'm not going to lie. I, I told them, they were, like, we have, they were like, we haven't made the playoffs for the past three years. 
Like this year we're making the playoffs. But look over here. That's like endless. That's, That's your opportunity. Endless. Thanks. It's gonna be a good year, man. You stay locked in, set the goals. Right. You know, you already didn't tell them, hey, we're gonna win, so now you just gotta do it. Oh, get caught now, get caught. Yes, hey. I like it. I like it. Somehow I like it, somehow not. But I like it. Gracias, boys. Catch your mullet. It's time to deliver for Ariel Hook 40. There's no doubt about it. Melbourne's big man ruptured his Achilles in preseason for NBL 23, but he's back. And everyone will be watching closely to see if he can become the force we all thought he could be when he first arrived from Germany in 2021. Heartbreak for Melbourne United next star, Ariel Huckporty, who has ruptured his Achilles tendon in a preseason game in Darwin. He will miss the entire season. So I missed the season last year um, because of a toy Achilles. I was basically in the hospital for three days. Um, and then I had to spend like 10 days at home, like literally just at home, just like in bed for 10 days straight until your Achilles actually heal a bit. I couldn't stretch at all the first two, three months. You just feel useless at that point. You know what I mean? You're just in bed watching the games and you'd be just like, damn, I could help over there, over there, over there. But I was just like, okay, now NBA draft is pushed down like a year. I was just waiting for my opportunity just to show myself, you know, Dino was giving me the minutes I needed. We've shot it quick three times in a row. We want to get to a long. Are you staying down, eh? You lift it. Staying down. Stay down. Good, play. We thought he was on a great trajectory last preseason and got him to a point where it's like, wow, you, I really see it. I really see um, him getting drafted, take the injury. Down for 12 months, there were some dark moments for him in, you know, mentally, I, I think he's just really grown up and been able to handle that task and, um, you know, get back to a, a really good point right now. Um, I just mentally stronger, you know what I mean, with everything. I was talking about it with Jack White as well. He was just telling me when you were done with the recovery, with the whole rehab, how mentally strong you are, you really feel like nothing can, like, put you down. Can't hold him. Can't ah. hold him. For me personally, it's still winning a championship is the first goal. And then the second goal, of course, is just going to the NBA draft, going to America, trying to dominate over there and um, just give my, give, my, give my all. I'm tight. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's so difficult. It's amazing. Look at this. We're in, we're in Australia. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, I would never think, like, we would, we would end up here. Like, oh. if we no, think about, like, because I, I went to the States, crazy. like, yeah. played in the States, like, came all the way out here. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. If we think about, like, from Trelleborg, like, all those late mm -hmm. nights, like, the drive out there. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. But, but you've done all the work, like all the hard yeah. work, and you know, there's a lot of work yeah. to be done Not still. Facts. Yeah, facts. keep the goal in mind, yeah. but still, you know, enjoy the ride. Mm -hmm. Super, super proud of you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Cairns is a long way from Bobby Clinton's hometown in Sweden. After a tough year at Wake Forest, the 20 year old was listed in the 2023 draft, and his stock was rising. But a call from Adam Ford convinced him that a year with the Taipans would push him even higher in 2024. You all locked up? Yeah, yeah, I'm locked up. Oh, yeah. Both of us, you locked up too? Yeah, I'm locked up too. Sure. We can't talk to <laughs> So my stepdad, he played basketball too. Uh, so when he met my mom, like, you know, I was only playing soccer. Look, look, this how you do it, huh? <laughs> my stepdad, he started uh, putting on basketball on the TV and stuff like that, so he, it became a little bit more natural. Like, when I was at home, like, I was watching more basketball and stuff like that. He was always, like, getting extra shots up with me, my cousin, and my brother. So, like, we used to stay in the gym. Like, he was always, like, a perfectionist. Like, everything we did had to be perfect. To say, like, if I did a layup or something like that, a little lazy, nah, get on the line. You gotta run. Get Bobby, get through, Bobby. He was always like, do I really want to do this? Or do you want to do you want to do soccer? Like, what do you want to do? Like, do you... And that's when I really knew, like, I wanted to do basketball. I wanted to play basketball. Like, I really loved it. 
Oh my god, I gotta make that. Come on, B. Look at those pesky guards trying to swipe at it. Good. You come across Bobby and okay, he's done a year in the ACC. Good. There's a tick. And you know, he's a 6'10 wing. And we just had that last year with DJ, so there's a tick. And you know, he's a great defender, and there's another tick. Okay, well, let's do a character check on him. It works out he's a great human being. Okay, we've got to get him here. For us, he's going to be a key contributor. We're going to rely on him more than just to come along for the ride, that he's actually going to help steer this whole thing. My goal has always been, like, the NBA. Like, I always wanted to play in the NBA since I was a young kid. I've seen how hard, like, the pros work and, like, the NBA players work, and I know, like, I got more to do to get, like, to their level. So, like, I got to work harder than them. You just got to keep going, just keep going. And I know if I just, I, if I just keep working, I, I don't even know, like, sky's the limit. Just having my mom here, like, she's always been, like, my number one supporter. So it's always great to have her here. Like, when I was young, she was always, like, on the sidelines screaming and stuff like that, like, always sharing for me. She's my why, you know what I'm saying? My family's always been my why. That's, that's why I want to do this. Like, I want to make them proud. You know, I, I'm, I don't want to see her work, work another day. So it's not just my love for the game. It's all, also, like, my family. You know, I wanted to be able to take care of them. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. Fly right? Mm -hmm. yeah, good, I good. I most of the time. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Meet AJ Johnson. All the way from Fresno, California. He's a six foot six guard and is projected to be a first round pick in the 2024 NBA draft. Oh my God. You excited? Yes, sir. This sport means like everything to me. It's what I love to do. Hey, Jay, we'll try you in the front, bro. Hmm? Oh, the front? We'll try you. Oh, no, the other side. Oh, heck no, heck no, heck no. <laughs> Definitely not that. I'm going to be in the NBA. You know, I want to be a franchise player, like leading an NBA team as a point guard, uh, multiple championships, MVP, all that. Like, I want to go down as, like, one of the best in the world. That's the goal for sure. My basketball journey probably started at, like, like eight years old, maybe. I grew up in Fresno, grew up playing basketball in Fresno. I, I moved uh, to Los Angeles after my ninth grade year. Uh, I went to Taft High School my sophomore and junior year, and then I went to uh, prep schools my senior year. And then, yeah, I was committed to the University of Texas, chose to decommit and uh, go the pro route, which is here. I mean, I seen how, uh, how good LaMelo did and how that helped his development and like RJ Hampton, how that helped their development and stuff like that. Josh Giddy, other players like that. So yeah, that was a big part of the, my decision for sure. You bring some boardies, mate? Go for a swim after this? Yeah, It's pretty warm, okay? Yeah, that's what we were saying. The water, oh, the water be cold. It's cold? Yeah, it'd be cold. Yeah. You never regret it, bro. You always feel good after. Yeah. So. I've known Jalen Green since I was like nine years old. Uh, we met in the gym and, you know, it just took off from there, honestly. That's one of like, that was one of my favorite players. Even, even though he was in high school and he was still young, like ninth grade, uh, he was still one of my favorite players. And I'm, I've been modeling my game after him like my whole life. So he's, he's a huge part of my development for sure. He's always gonna be on my side about all my decisions and stuff like that. He's gonna want what's best for me. So yeah, he thought this was a good move. I'm confident, not cocky. I hit every shot I shoot. Ain't nobody that can block me. I've been gone since I was younger, so, you know, it's not that much of a big difference, but this is, like, really, really far, not just, like, three hours away. But it's just all for a sacrifice, and I just know that it's all just going to pay off at the end. But there's been a lot of things that's uh, been tough in my life. Man. Just growing up younger, just family stuff. The odds have always been against me. I was just a kid from Fresno, like, moving to L.A. and stuff like that. I've just always just like, I feel like I can just do anything, any type of environment. I feel like I can adapt too quick. Everything that's happened in my life like shaped me to who I am now, so, so I can be prepared for anything, you know? I'm Alexander Sar. I'm 216 centimeters tall with a 226 wingspan. Alex Saar has a chance to be the best next star we've ever seen. He's that good. This Frenchman is the prototype for the modern big man. Saar's draft stock is rising fast. And this season in Perth, he's got the ultimate chance to showcase his skills and help the Wildcats back to the playoffs. I'm 18 years old. I'm from France. I started playing basketball when I was four. 
Then I stayed just playing in France uh, until I was 14. Then I moved to uh, Spain to play for Real Madrid. Then when I was 16, I moved from Spain to play in America for the time elite. I played two years there before uh, having the opportunity to join the Next Star program and be a part of the NBL. Good. Um, draw up. I just chose the NBL because I thought it was the best pathway for me. I want to like be able to compete in a league that's similar to the NBA, and the NBL gave me that opportunity. Clearly, he's an NBA player. Um, you know, just the combination of size, um, athleticism, his ability to move on the perimeter for a seven-footer and be able to protect the rim defensively. And then offensively, uh, we think he's got a lot of versatility. He can step outside and shoot, but he's also a really good finisher around the basket. Good, there we go! Good, get on it! The main objective is to help the Perth Wildcats win a championship and then uh, us rewarding him with getting him as a better player so he can go as high as he can in the NBA draft. Yes, Alex! Yes! Get on it! So as I used to do at the end of training, I'd always toss to myself, I'll show you like this. And we always start like, get down low, because as a big guy, the worst thing you can do is be like up yeah. like this. You've probably seen a lot of big guys. They get shoved around because Perfect. they're too upright. All right. Spin it out. Drop lower. Yep. And one, two, and go up. Try and find the rhythm so it's so you're not like yeah. Because you gotta get like your yeah. one, two. Yes, sir. Yep. One, two, one, two. Yes, sir. Get it. Uh -huh. Quick feet. There you go. Push it up. My brother, you know, he plays uh, for the Thunder. He's a big influence for me. Always helped me along the way. Always give me advice. I think we both push each other up. I motivate him, he motivates me to keep working. And yeah, I think it's just the beginning. My ultimate goal is uh, to play in the league with my brother, together being in the NBA. And of course, being the best player that I can be. There you go. Couple free throws. Yep. Get nice and low. Yeah. Here we go. Making two more here. Good, Alex. Nine. Ten. Good. There is only one way to describe Alex Tui. This kid is a specimen. Six foot eight with a six foot ten wingspan. And he plays with the skills of a guard. My name is Alex Tui. I'm 19. I'm from Canberra. And I just signed with Sydney Kings as part of the Next Stars program. Good, take your time, take your time. No rush. Good. Load that leg, load that left. Top US college Gonzaga had locked him in, but at the last minute, the Kings swooped and bagged themselves Australia's top prospect from the class of 2023. Do I see him playing in the NBA 100%? Can I see him becoming a first round pick? Like, without question. Our hope is to get him into the lottery. There we go, good, Alex, good. Get up and finish, good. Big moving, good. Good, Alex. Good, let's go hooks now, hooks now. I was originally heading over to America to play college basketball, which was what I thought was right at the time. And then I think a few things kind of changed, some stuff lined up with Sydney and they kind of came onto the table. And I think I looked at it as more, not the school I was going to play at in America, it was more the college pathway versus the professional pathway. And I felt the professional pathway, it might be a, a little bit more challenging at the start. I think it would ultimately help me in the long run, playing against professionals, being in that environment where it's really a job to play basketball. And I think putting myself out there, maybe exposing myself to new experiences and that new environment, I think that's something that's gonna help me in the long run to get where I wanna get. Both my parents are in the military, so I've kind of had a pretty strict upbringing, you could say, but obviously a loving environment. I got an older brother and sister who are twins, so one lives in Sydney, my sister lives in Sydney, and my brother played college basketball. I think the biggest thing for my parents is just things that they taught me. They were always always there for me, taught me the importance of time, being respectful, all that kind of stuff that, that they were taught, and that's a part of the military, trying to not instruct it on me, like not waking up at 6 a.m. every morning to go run parades or anything like that, but just in general, just trying to teach us to be good kids. And I think ultimately, uh, I think they've done a good job. I hope other people would say the same thing. Yeah, I think everyone has setbacks. 
Everyone's kind of has stuff that's going on with them. I think injury is obviously a massive thing for players, having injuries when they were young, thinking the world's going to explode. For my first national team, I was supposed to play in under-15s. Um, I broke my wrist about a week or two before, so obviously upsetting, couldn't, couldn't get away with that. Um, Chris Golding actually messaged me back then. I don't know if he remembers it now, but he sent me a message kind of, head up, mate, you got a lot of stuff left to do. So playing against him will be cool now, but I think just understanding, like, my, I thought I might not have made an Australia team again, and then the first Australia team I made was the Boomers, so it's pretty, pretty cool how it comes full circle. Ultimately, I'd like to represent Australia at, at Olympics and a World Cup. Um, I'd like to have a career in the NBA and try and stick around there for as long as possible, and I think just Try and be a good person, help out in communities and try and be a, a role model like people, Paddy Mills, Josh Giddy, those guys are now. Try and be in kind of where they are and try and help Australian basketball. Now you simply can't miss Rocco Sikorsky. The kid is 17 years old, seven foot three, and his arrow is pointing straight up. I've definitely copped quite a bit from being the only P player on the team, especially when they critique my driving skills, which I don't think are that bad. After leaving the AIS, Zakarski had offers from all over the world, but the Brisbane Bullets fan chose to stay close to home and learn from some of the best in the business. Bainsey is 20 years older than me, and his son is actually closer to my age than I am to Bainsey. So that is a bit weird that I have more in common with his son than I have in common with him. But yeah, no, it's, um, it's pretty funny. It makes for some pretty good times. Getting my peas was sort of a sense of freedom. My parents drove me around a lot, and so did my sister, actually, especially my grandma as well. They've done a lot for me. And, you know, without them driving me, um, cooking for me, doing everything for me, really, um, you know, I definitely wouldn't be where I am today. Real. Outside hand. One, two, three, go. Good. Yep, other side. So I actually found my basketball through school. It was grade four, five maybe. And everyone was telling me I should play basketball because of how tall I was. I was real reluctant at first, but you know, ever since then, you know, playing basketball started to fall in love with it and that's been my sport ever since. I picked Brisbane just because it's it's close to home. It's coaches that I trust, I've been around before. It's players that I looked up to for a long time when I first started playing. So to me, Brisbane was sort of this no-brainer of this is where I want to be, this is where I want to develop. Nice. Good, good. Spin it back. Nice. I'm 7'3", and really ever since I was 6'8", I've had all the questions from people coming up to me asking how tall I am, all the normal comments that you would get from being tall. And, you know, it's become part of everyday life. I've grown up with it, and the height's a blessing, so make the most of the opportunity. You know, that's my mindset going into every game this year is, you know, I'm going to do my best every time. I'm going to show them that it's not just my height. You can be as good as you want physically, and, you can be dominant, but it, it all comes down to the mental part. You know, how mentally tough can you be? You know, these past two years, my, my view on basketball has become a lot different. Seeing Victor come out and showcase what the future of seven footers can be, it's been big, you know, because I used to think seven footers, we lived in the paint and that's all we do. We rebound and crash the boards, but for him, he's reinvented the game of basketball almost for the taller players. My expectations this year are I'd love to play and I'd love to show people what I'm capable of, but understanding that I am one of the youngest guys to, to come through this program and, you know, this, this year for me is to see how far I can come personally in development and, you know, I'm doing a, a lot to try and earn my minutes this year. Nothing's given in this league. I have a lot of people in my ears telling me, you're really keeping me grounded, and my family's a big part of that. 
you know, you've, you've made a step in your journey, but you're nowhere near where you want to be. And that's really big to me. I'm nowhere where I want to be. My ultimate goal is to make the NBA and really solidify myself amongst some of the greatest players to roll through Australian basketball. And it is a very big lofty goal, but I think with time and, and dedication, it's something that hopefully I can make a reality. The pressure of joining championship caliber team is nothing new for Mantis Rustavsius. The Breakers next star has been a pro since he was 18 in Lithuania. And with the backing of Modi Mayor, the 21 year old is going to have to contribute from day one in New Zealand. I started to play basketball at seven years old. Uh, first of all, I uh, played football. It's a fun story a bit that my dad uh, used to play uh, basketball. And uh, first of all, my first love was football. I played football. I was small at the time, so dad said and, uh, that I be, uh, I'll be uh, tall. He told me that I will be a goalkeeper. At the time, I just want to score. So yeah, I just choose basketball. The last season, middle of the season, my, my agent called me and he said that there's a team, New Zealand Breakers will interested in me. I talked with coach Modi before I signed and uh, he, he liked my, my game. I think he's a very good uh, man. He will improve my game and, uh, and I'll be ready for the incoming games and uh, season. I'm tall guard, so uh, I can push the ball. I can be aggressive at defense. I can make shots. I can be humble. Uh, I just enjoy playing basketball. I'm proud that I, I had a chance to play with uh, very good players in the FIBA window. I played for the Lithuanian national team. I also won uh, with under 20 European champions silver medal. So yeah, I think that's the, the best achievements in my life. Hey, man. Hey. How are you? Good. Good to see you. What's up, man? Hey, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, meet you man. man. Yeah. You played in your hometown, didn't you? Last season, yeah. Yeah. In Zalgiris second team, I played there three years. I was away from home. There's a, uh, a Lithuanian coming to the Blitz as well. Uh, Benos Matskavich. Yeah. He's coming? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he yeah. scouts for Boston. Yeah, he was my coach at FIBO window. Oh, really? When I played, yeah. At the moment, we've got like 45 NBA scouts coming to the Blitz. It's going to be all eyes on you, man. OK. I try to do my, do my best. My goal is to help my team in, uh, in the best way I can. And uh, secondary, I, I just want to improve my game and uh, be ready uh, for the NBA draft. <laughs>